I'm Billy. And I'm Rhonda. From Strong's Adventures. What are we making today? Well, I figured we'd make some cookie ice cream bowls. Cookie ice cream bowls. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Since it's hot. Have we ever done this before? No, we've never done this before. I just hope it works. <laughs> so this is going to be a test for you guys. Doesn't matter how it turns out. We're going to show you. Promise. Promise. Hang on and we'll get right to it. Okay, Rhonda, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna mold this cookie dough on the bottom side of some of your cute little cast iron bowls. They're not cute, they're cool. They're okay, sexy cool. even. <laughs> even sexy. Okay. So I'm gonna use this as a mold. All right. Well, I will let you take this away and it'll be all you. Okay. You just let me know when you want the 14 inch Dutch oven. Okay. Yeah, we have that preheating. That's preheating. Mm -hmm. It's preheating. <laughs> okay, so just like a cookie sheet, I'm going to spray the bottom of these because they're going to actually be upside down in the Dutch oven. And uh, we're going to be using the Dutch oven as like a regular oven in your house. We're going to have a lot of top heat, very little bottom heat because we want it to be like the oven inside. I'm going to mold the cookie dough on top of here, so I need to spray this to keep it from sticking. Not a bit much on that one. Billy, I think I'm ready for the oven, if you'll put it right here. Okay. No problem. Okay, so I have some cookie dough here that I have let get um, room temperature. You know how cookies are soft when you first get them out of the oven. Uh, we want them to be able to cool off and be crispy enough to hold this ice cream and hold its form. All right, I might do these a little differently so we can figure out what works and what doesn't work. I'll have one kind of thin here. Okay, so I've molded one all the way up to the edges pretty thin. Okay, now I'm going to do one a little thicker and maybe not as high up of the sides in case that that, you know, is an issue with it breaking. Alright, so this one's a little thicker and we didn't go quite up the sides as far. Maybe that'll make it sturdier. We'll find out. Okay, honey, I'm ready for you to put the lid back on for me. Okay. Okay, so this will be 350, and the package says 11 to 12 minutes. They're probably going to take a little longer than that. Not only are we using a Dutch oven that we have to vary depending on the heat, um, they're bigger. So we're going to check them about 12 minutes, but they're probably going to need to go about 15. We have the Dutch oven preheating. I'll probably have to rotate out some coals here in just a little bit. But like always, every probably this time about every seven minutes, I'll be turning the Dutch oven just so that we don't have any hot spots. You gotta also remember we also have that cast iron inside the cast iron and that's gonna take a little bit to heat up too. That's another one of the factors in this that we're not sure of yet. But you'll find out whether this is a thumbs up or a thumbs down. 
All right, so it's been about seven minutes ish, maybe a little less, but it's time to turn the pot and the lid. Remember, you always turn the pot one way and you turn the lid the other direction, a quarter of a turn. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, let's take a peek. Um, well, Rhonda. Oh no. <laughs> Get an inside shot of that. Uh, well, now you know, folks. That, um, that won't work. The way we did it will not work. Unless, unless that does get firm enough for me to just trim it. I don't know. Let me take some of the bottom heat off and add a bunch more coals to the top. Either way, we finally have a cast iron Wednesday for you. It's been a while. How many cookies was that supposed to make? Uh, well, that was two packages, so 48? There's your issue. <laughs> That could have been the problem, Rhonda. We will figure this out because I want some. I want some chocolate chip cookie dough bowls for my ice cream. Cause it's hot out here. I don't know if y'all can see I'm sweating, but I am sweating. That's like all you people in the winter up north did all y'all stuff on the on the stove. That's where we're fixing to be inside in the kitchen. Cooking in the air conditioning, because it's hot. I agree. <laughs> Y'all gonna start seeing a lot more skillet videos and stuff, Dutch oven videos. <laughs> well, honey. It didn't work. It did not work at all. <laughs> like, this is bad. That's terrible, because I was in the mood for some ice cream. Well, I'm going to eat some ice cream. It just ain't going to have no cookie bowl. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do a little research on this. There, there will be a part two oh, to yeah. this one. It smells good. It smells really good. This didn't work. At all. So, there you go. We're going to show you whether it works or whether it doesn't. That is some sad Dutch oven loving going on right there. <laughs> oh, we'll give you an overshot view to show you how bad it is. It's terrible. It's terrible. So the cookie dough is separated. It's like you see parts of the cast iron. So yeah, it's not. It wouldn't even hold any ice cream. No, no, wouldn't do nothing. So. Alright y'all, don't forget, D at Native Tears started the Cast Iron Wednesday. Y'all go check her channel out. Also Shovelhead H, so you can check him out to see all the other people that do Cast Iron Wednesday. Grab your cast iron, get out, and go cast iron for Wednesday. Just don't do what we did. <laughs> Remember, there ain't no loving like Dutch oven loving. Except this, this is not good it's Dutch not oven good. oven. Bye. So, y'all still here? That cookie was still edible. I just threw it in my ice cream instead of throwing my ice cream in it. Eats the same. <laughs>